This video will provide a walkthrough of the Proloquo for Text text-to-speech application. It's important to note that at the time of this video, the app in the video was running software version 4.2.8 and running on iPad Pro 4th generation running iPad OS 14.4. In addition, the app was available on the Apple App Store and not available on the Google Play Store. The guided walkthrough will consist of four parts. The first will review the home screen layout. The second portion of the video will review the different options to form a message. The third part will review the app's settings. And the fourth part will provide additional resources. The video will now review the home screen layout. Outlined in red is the message window. The play icon outlined in red reads aloud the content in the message window in a synthetic voice. This is an example. The X icon clears the content in the message window. The circle arrow serves as an undo feature, putting the most recent content back into the message window. The icon outlined in red enables the communicator to share the content in the message window in a variety of different ways. The icon outlined in red expands the message window so that it fills the entire screen. The icon in the bottom left corner flips the text so that the communication partner can easily read the message. The X brings the communicator back to the home screen. The gear icon opens up the app's settings. The icon outlined in red closes the left window. Tapping on the text with either your finger or an external mouse allows you to switch between the different windows. It's important to note that only the Conversations and Phrases window have editing options. Similarly, only the Quick Talk and History windows have editing options. The pencil icon opens up the editing menu for phrases. The Add feature provides the communicator with options to add a category, an item, or text from the iPad. The Select feature provides many options, such as editing individual labels, managing labels subphrases, rearranging the order of the phrases, and deleting, cutting, and copying phrases. A more detailed outline of the editing process and features can be found in the user manual, which will be linked at the end of the video. Similarly, the pencil icon opens up the editing menu for Quick Talk. The editing menu options and layout are very similar to the editing menu reviewed earlier. As previously demonstrated, when the title is selected, it switches to the next window. As shown before, the icon in the upper right corner closes the right side window. When the Conversations window is open, selecting the plus icon will open up a new Conversation window. The video will now review the different ways to form a message. The first way to form a message is to use the on-screen keyboard. A second is to use the Quick Talk presets. How are you? Another is to use the content under the History window. Hi, how are you doing right now? Another option is to choose from one's conversations. Another option is to use one's preset phrases and the on-screen keyboard. A sixth option is to use the built-in sentence prediction tool. Please be patient while I write my message. Another option is to use both the word prediction bar and the on-screen keyboard. Lastly, the multi-language feature is helpful if you are a multilingual communicator. The multi-language feature requires some additional steps in order to be used. The setup process can be found in another video, which will be linked at the end of this guided walkthrough. Here are a few sentences that I created for demonstration purposes. They are written in English, 
Spanish, German, Italian, and French. Hi, how are you doing today? Hola, ¿cómo estás hoy? Hi, wie geht es dir heute? Ciao, ¿cómo está y hoy? Salut, ¿cómo vas tú aujourd'hui? The video will now review the app's settings. The user option allows the communicator to save their settings, phrases, and customizations to their own account. The appearance option allows for customization of the home screen layout as well as customizing different text options. The language and speech settings allow the communicator to download their a cappella voice, select multiple languages, and customize the speech output settings. The prediction settings allow for customization of the word and sentence prediction as well as abbreviation expansion. The restrictions settings allow one to turn on or off the editing and sharing capabilities. The privacy settings allow for a private use mode, clearing history and sentence log, and data sharing consent options. The backups settings allow for numerous backup options such as import, export, and delete, and integrating Dropbox and Google Drive. The lock options settings allow for a password to be created so that it is required to change any settings. The about settings show technical specifications of the application. The support settings provide a number of different support options for the user. The news setting serves as an in-app newsletter for any new updates. The review pro loquo for text option brings the user to the app store to leave a review. The Need Help with Options setting provides a section of the manual that covers options. The following slide will provide additional resources.